living local with Lila this Friday, and it's important to look up this morning. Here's why. McDill Air Force Base is saying thank you today to those working on the front lines during these difficult times. Aid on your side's Lila Gross tells us all about the awesome sight we can all see in the sky in just a few hours. A big thank you for those working on the front lines. Comes today from McDill Air Force Base. I'm here today with Colonel Steven Snelson. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're doing to thank those that have been working so hard during the coronavirus outbreak? We, every single day, get so much back from the community here on the base. This Tampa community supports our service members and our families uh, in so many different ways. So today, it's one small gesture for our airmen to give back to this community that gives us so much. And especially as you think about COVID-19 and, and everything that our frontline healthcare providers have had to do to keep us safe, uh, it's just one thing that we can do to, to say thank you. Tell us a little bit about the flyover. It is a magnificent thing to see. It is. You know, I, I think we were all a little bit disappointed when we had to cancel Airfest. So we didn't get to have all of the, the community come here to our base. And I know some other cities are getting the Blue Angels or the Thunderbirds to fly over. But in my mind, what's better than having Tampa's own KC-135s fly overhead to show that, that support and that thank you. So this morning, we're going to bring that formation of, of two KC-135s out, and we'll be flying all around Tampa, uh, north and south, and, and doing a, a really short, quick tribute to everybody. Well, as lunchtime approaches today, step outside, look on up, and see the big thank you from the McDill Air Force Base. I'm Lila Gross, 8 on your side. It's going to be a sight to see. I'm excited. Very special tribute, right, Lee? It is. Those KC-135s are amazing pieces of equipment. I can't wait to see them flying over.